Good morning my dear students. I hope that you all are at home and safe and I know that it's not possible for you all to come out but we, we have come out with a virtual classes for you all because it's very important to be in the touch with your studies as well as we have to cover up the syllabus also. Why? Because we don't know that when the school is going to be reopened that's why we need to cover up the syllabus right? Okay then. First of all, before moving on to the lessons, I welcome you all to the first online video of English literature, alright? So today we will be learning from this book. It's Weaver's course book, okay? Then so take out your books and open to first chapter. This is topic is Koji and the cats. The first chapter, okay? This one. So and also get ready with your pencils because after the lessons we are going to tick the hard words all right so okay then uh, have you seen anything magical till now means have you wondered or have you seen the magical things and have you seen the painting uh, whatever you have drawn it came comes comes to real or virtual have you ever seen this chapter is some like in this way only we can uh, we will learn about the magical painting all right in this chapter so let's start okay long ago in japan there lived a poor farmer and his wife they had many children and most of them helped the parents in the paddy fields however Koji only wanted to paint that two only cats of many kinds and sizes. What happened once upon a time in Japan? What happened? They lived a farmer and his wife and they have many children. Okay, all of the children used to help the farmer and uh, the father and his mother in their paddy fields. Paddy means rice, okay, in the rice field. But only the Koji was the one who doesn't help his parents and always he used to, what he used to do, he always used to paint of uh, cats, that also of cat with different sizes, okay. So Koji's parents were not happy with this. They sent him to Buddhist temple to train to become a monk. Now what happened? Uh, the parents, the father and the mother was not happy with Koji because he always used to paint and he doesn't used to do anything else. He just used to paint all the time. So that's why what the parents thought is they thought of sending Koji to become a monk. Now what is the meaning of a monk? Do you know? Okay. Monk is a member of a religious member of men who doesn't marry or own anything. Okay. So, so Koji began living with the priest and other students in the temple. Now what happened next? The parents have already sent Koji to uh, this to become a monk. So what happened? There Koji began to live with the priest and the other monks, okay? Other students in the temple, alright? So while the other children learned their lessons, Koji only painted cats. He painted them on the shoji screen on books and on paper scroll on the ground and even on the bare yellow walls. Now what happened while the other students were learning, while the other students were learning something new, that time also Koji only wanted to paint in the shoji screen. Shoji means a sliding door or screen made of thin paper, okay? While the other children were learning something new, then what Koji did, he always used to draw in even the bare yellow wall or in the shoji screen, alright? Then let's see what happened next. After a few months, the priest felt that Koji was wasting the time. Yes, because he always used to paint on the wall. Okay, then what the teacher thought is, what the priest thought is, uh, he is just wasting the time because he always used to paint and he don't learn, he is not learning something new. Alright, then what happened? Uh, he said sadly, Koji, please go home. You can't become a priest, but you might grow up to become a famous artist. Then what priest did means what the teacher did. He said to Koji that he said very gently, okay, not in a rudely manner, but he said gen gen very gently that Koji, you are not learning something new. So that's why I think that you need to go back home and I hope that you will become a good artist. Okay, he said. Then what happened? Turn the page, page number 2. Then what happened after that? 
as Koji was leaving tearfully, the monk advised him, Be careful, remember to stay close to small places and away from large places at night. Okay. And when the teacher said that, this line to him, then what happened? Koji was leaving tearfully. Okay. He was very upset because means everyone, his parents also used to tell the same thing and also the teacher said the same thing. So that's why what happened? He became very much upset. But what is teacher told that uh, be careful remember to stay close to small places and away from the large places at night okay then Koji became, began walking towards his village when night fell he decided to find a place to rest he spotted a temple and knocked on the door but the temple was empty then what happened Koji left that place okay where he uh, where he was sended to learn something new to learn to become monk then what happened he just left the place and he while he was walking through he, at night he saw a big temple over there okay then what he did he thought of staying there at night okay then what happened he knocked the door he knocked the temple uh, door of the temple but there was no one that's why he just slid the door and and then he went inside okay in the large empty hall, Koji saw dozens of plain shoji screen. He quickly opened his painting kit and happily began drawing and painting cats on the screens. He made many litters of cats and then he decided to go to the sleep. Now what happened when he, as soon as he entered the temple, he saw large shoji screens over there. And when he saw all around the wall, uh, all around the wall, then what he did, he started he took out his painting kit and he started painting the cats big size small size all different types of cat he started to uh, draw okay then what happened koji remember that the priest had warned him about large places he spotted a small cupboard slid its door open and lay down on one of the shelves then he slid the door back and fell asleep then what happened after that he was very much tired then he thought of sleeping but then he thought my teachers told me that not to go not to move to the big places but to stay in a small places then he found the temple was very big and in the corner uh, side he found a cupboard okay it was a small cupboard then slowly gently he uh, slid the door and then he went inside and he fall asleep okay then what happened koji was awakened by the sounds of banging crashing thudding and howling then suddenly there was a silence frightened by the terrible sounds and eerie silence he lay motionless all night long then what happened he suddenly while he was sleeping he suddenly heard the sound of different types of howling thudding howling meaning of howling is means long or uh, loud cry of an animals okay and thudding means sound made by a heavy object things when it is hit it okay he heard this type of uh, sound then he was awakened because he was afraid all right then what happened after somehow uh, after some time what happened then suddenly the movement was a very much silence okay everything became silence then he just came out motionless means without uh, sorry he was just motionless he was very much afraid and scared that's why he was motionless then at dawn cozy slid opened the cupboard door very slowly and stepped out he was shocked to see a dead rat on the floor it was almost the size of a rhinoceros and then what happened in the morning when he woke up and saw when he opened the door and when he came out he saw a big rat it was the size of rhinoceros lying on the floor he saw okay then what happened he looked around fearfully to his surprise he saw that all the cats, cats that he had drawn at night had blood stains on their mouth then he was very much surprised to see what happened to this rat means he was wondering what happened to this uh, rat and why he is lying on the floor then what happened he, he looked around very carefully and he found that all the cats that he have drawn at night had some blood strains on his mouth okay then koji realized that the cats had magically got together and killed the monster rat then koji has almost thought that the cats that i have drawn 
came into reality came into virtual and what happened he all the cats had destroyed that monster rat he thought okay soon the villager who lived around the temple gathered and saw the dreadful scene mean soon the villager came to know about this uh, this moment then all the people of the village were very much means they were very much afraid and they were very much wondering about what happened to this big rat okay the crowd of people exclaimed joyfully you are a fearless boy you are a hero okay all the villager all the people of the villager told him village uh, told him that you are a superhero you are a very fearless boy then let's see what happened next page number 3 an old woman explained son you have killed the monster rat that even the bravest of our men couldn't kill then what happened koji was surprised why they all are calling me a superhero he was very much surprised then what an old, what an old woman said him that told him that son you have killed the monster rat that even the bravest of our men couldn't kill but you have killed that monster rat you are a superhero okay the woman said old woman said by the time koji reached home his family had already heard about the wonderful task he had done after returning from there after uh, returning to his home then what happened his family already heard the news about all this whatever happened in the temple then his father said draw and paint as much as you like you are born to be an artist then finally what his father said that draw and paint as much as you can because you are born to be an artist then next koji drew many wonderful pictures and he grew up to be a famous painter in japan see now look his dream and his hobby was almost every time he wants to draw the painting pictures so his father also said him now his father also allowed him so now after that koji drew many wonderful pictures and he grew up to be a famous painter in all over japan okay so the lesson lesson is completed now we will tick the hard words okay page number 1 second paragraph it's monk underline the word monk m o n k monk and the meaning is a member of a religious group of men who live together and they do not marry or own anything okay and in uh, the second word word is shoji s h o j i shoji meaning is a sliding door or a screen made of thin paper in a wooden frame okay third word just turn the page it's in page number 2 uh, third one is thering t h u d d d i n g thering meaning is sound made by a heavy object hitting something and the next word, word is howling h o w l i n g howling the meaning is long loud cry made by an animals okay next eerie double e r i e it's eerie meaning is strange and scary next motionless m o t i o n l e double s motionless and the meaning is without moving and the last one dreadful d r e a d f u l dreadful and the meaning is very bad okay this was our first chapter and the name was koji and the cats right i hope that you all have enjoyed this chapter reading this chapter because it was all about the magic right so next tomorrow we will be learning we will be doing the question answers of this chapter all right so everyone get ready with your notebooks and your pen or pencils okay so for today just stay at your home and be safe all right tomorrow let's meet up tomorrow thank you bye bye